Do you know, it seems so strange that just yesterday we was leaving Sherwood Pines and actually packing up everything and then we went to Clumber Park and this is where I'm going to do a talk about. National Trust used to do this thing where it was per vehicle to pay to go into the trust and it was per vehicle. Now it's per person, which is greed. Because uh, we was going to go into Columbia Park yesterday, all three of us, and uh, the person at the checkpoint said, um, so it was for 50 per vehicle, and now it went to five pound per vehicle, or four pound per person. Per person. So it wasn't to do, and the thing is like, if you have a National Trust card, it would be five pound for your vehicle. But because we don't have one, it's four pound per person. And we were like, you've got to pay 12 quid to walk, a, like, rock, walk around the lake or a reservoir. And I was like, there's so many lakes around the UK that way you, you can just walk around and be free. Like now, you can just walk around and walk, walk here for free. And I was like, that's greed. I literally, I literally shouted, that's fucking greed. I don't think my mum and dad were too happy, but it's true. Because, like, this is National Trust here. So, uh, we parked somewhere else uh, around Clumber Park for free. Got lost a few times. But we noticed a National Trust van put a notice on our van. I was like, oh no, we're getting fined. And it said, sorry, we missed you. And it was like, maybe you should actually think about coming in. I was like, well, no, because if you're, it seemed like we were being punished for going somewhere else. Like, which is not the idea. Like, like we were stopping there. And there's so many nice places to go outside of where this checkpoint is. So to be punished by the National Trust for having enjoyment is kind of dumb. It's really, really fucking dumb. So, uh, I mean, we said, I should have emailed them. I mean, but they were like, oh, that's, that's just gonna be a waste of time. Like, no, it isn't. Like, if people are in that desperation mode to be a dickhead, then uh, they need to be known. They need to be told. It's like if I see someone at work and they're just acting a bit thick, the normal person would just ignore it. But if they're being a bit thick and I'm working for customers, I feel like I have to give my feedback and be like, do I seriously have to use my, you, do I seriously have to tell you to use your brain? <sighs> yeah. So anyway, we came back yesterday and uh, it's going to feel strange because I've still got Tuesday and Wednesday off and go back Thursday and then I've got Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday off which is uh, cool well the sun's behind me just keeping an eye on noises because this is still the road uh, so I've got a video uploading as I'm out at the moment video editing uh, I was trying to put like four hours of videos into like one plate, onto, into like to one composition. And it just crashed in the computer, so I thought, just, just try, let's just try, put like an hour's worth in, and it worked. So, at least then, I could look through the videos and be like, I can actually put them together, like the vlogging stuff. I had no time at all when my dad was here. So I've actually got the whole evening, so so practically, uh, to do some uploading, editing. Uh, yeah. So I'm gonna go out and set off at two. So I'm gonna aim to get back before three, or by three, uh, at least an hour or so. Get back, walk the dogs again at about six ish. 
Maybe six or seven, I guess. Would work. Yeah. Are we really at this level again? I did a video ages ago called Fly Tipping on Mucky Lane. And it was an example of why people shouldn't do it. Yeah. People still don't get that message. It's almost as if it was an encouragement to keep going. No. Right, we better carry on because there's just a shitload of stuff and I hate to say it I can't see it all because of the sun the majority of it is McDonald's stuff which makes me ashamed this hill is steep man so the majority of things dumped there was McDonald's related which makes me feel over the moon sarcasm not at all it doesn't feel too windy but if it's spinning the way it is then it has to be pretty spinny pretty windy I realized what I just said pretty spinny which is true because it is spinning round but pretty windy is the uh, terminology I was going for um, I was going down this way as well uh, it's going a bit blurry, there we go. Uh, I was going the same way, there was a woman like with the earphones, I was like, oh, I'm not sure which way she's going. Same way as me, yes, of course. Uh, I was expecting her to like, oh, back off and everything. But, because my dogs are friendly, uh, she was friendly too, which is quite nice. Uh, nice to have that as well. I'm just going to back off and just, just, just do a little vlog, like I am now. Uh, let her go down in peace, etc. Uh, just enjoy this the winter sun because it is strangely enough still winter though she was saying that it was quite cold I said not too bad it's okay it's not as bad as it has been lately like when in show of pines it was great like like it was on Friday it was great and then Saturday Saturday was fine. It was overcast but it was still like warmish. Then Sunday it was like quite warm. I was like wow and even with the sun now it was just like really nice. So it was great for biking and great for walking. <clears throat> oh shit I nearly fell. Oh she's already gone through that gate anyway. She just stopped there on the phone. Okay. I've got to get through as well, remember? Is there another path along the left side? Because I was thinking if I cut through. Yeah, I just realised. Uh, yeah. I need to stop. I, I can't block on here. I just can't. I've got to stop. Uh, because if I try and vlog any further, I'm going to fall. Uh, a yellow flash orange SLR McLaren. Nice. Right, see you soon. There's a rule for parking your car on a junction. And if it's five metres before a jun after a ju towards the junction, it's illegal. Even still, I think that's the driver. What he's just done is so illegal. You can't just stop there. Because if you're that close to a junction, I think you've just explained yourself. Like, doesn't matter if you put a sticker on the back saying Revcom, doesn't matter. If you've just stopped right at the edge of a junction with little care, about who's going to be driving with you or next to you on the road then yeah you've not got very much in you to be fair well to be fair yeah it was so dangerous what you just did 
either it's my other over exaggeration or someone else will be like, yeah, it's not so bad. But just from how it looked, what a twit. When I uh, get back to work, which will be Thursday, I'm going to try that veggie wrap. Yeah, it'll be worth doing because then I can actually try it and then if people are asking like what it's like, I can at least then give my opinion what it's like. If I've had it, if I've not had it, and people ask me what it's like, it's kind of like giving false information because I've not actually tried it. So it'd be uh, a good idea to do that and have it. I think I like it, to be fair. I think I was looking at it thinking like, oh no, I'm not going to like it. But I think I will, to be fair. But yeah, I think I like it. So nice up on here. I need to kind of really get back home and uh, sort some washing out. I've been out for nearly 45 minutes. So it'd be nice to get back home and carry on with it. You know, the thing that's surprising me is that it's quarter to five. And look how light it is still. I mean, yes, it is darker, but like, whenever I was doing like the 5.11 shifts, as I was getting to work, it was just pitch black, like complete 100% black in the sky, like at five o'clock time. Uh, and it's still the way it is. There's some clouds in the sky. But apart from that, there's still like some shades of light blue in the sky. Uh, surprisingly, uh, all right. Thought I'd just come onto the field for like half an hour and I mean why not because it's still light enough uh, this time a couple of weeks ago it would have been pitch black but it's actually kind of nice and therapeutic in a way that it's still this light because it was just like so annoying like it was just like ref restricting my walking my biking it was like all oh, right like, when I, like, whenever I finish the shift at 2 o'clock, I'd be like, right, that's it now. I've got, like, one or two hours left of lightness, and then it's straight away dark. So, when it comes, like, to the point where it's actually quite dark now, at the point where it does get quite... quite ugh, speech impediment's still kicking in. When it does get quite dark on here, I'll just come off and walk back on. On the negative side though, it is pretty cold. So I'm still wearing a jumper and a coat. Yep, still vlogging, still out. I'm gonna do a couple of laps of the field, I think. Uh, still visible enough so you can see me. It's 10 to 5 now. So I'm kind of curious to know when it will get 100% dark. Because, uh, well, I go in to work on Thursday to do a 10 6. I'm kind of curious to know when it does go dark and then I can actually keep track of like whenever I do an exercise or if I'm like wanting to take the dogs out for a bit longer or I want to go on my bike etc I can track it track time and keep an eye on the sky and watch it for like when it goes dark but that's the thing as well will it get brighter like, will there be a late, there'll be an earlier sunrise as well? Because there's there was a lot of points towards the end of the year 
we're doing the seven twos and it was so dark in the morning till like eight nine o'clock and then it, it just gradually got lighter but those points during the start of the year up towards the middle of the year where I was doing the seven twos and it was quite bright quite naturally bright and it was like quite strange like to walk around and be like and do work at a time when it felt quite early but it felt quite light I like really light as opposed to like going in during the dark so because it's been the shortest day of the year like it got to a point where it's like the shortest day of the year up up through till December it's gonna to get to a point where it's gonna be the longest day of the year and that's gonna be fantastic you know if I like wanted to go out on dog walks solo walks and like wanted to go on my bike be great you can still see me just uh, what we've got is an example of someone just being a knob so you know like the example of someone on like a little scooter or a little moped we've got somebody just riding round on one of them just like try to make the wee wee noise and I'm seeing them just do that on, on the road like right still some blue there what I'm thinking of doing actually is getting home for like five-ish and then like have tea like make tea actually uh, make the dog's tea and I will not be home alone uh, by eight o'clock so what I could do is what I've not normally done in a while and go on a fourth dog walk for just like half an hour again just to like stretch the legs and be nice you know I think I might just do one more lap of the field then make my way back home be nice to do that one more lap of the field uh, yeah I think you can still see me I'm going into the darkness now so see this is the thing like sometimes it's like oh it's getting dark now like 100% dark but because my eyes are getting adjusted to the darkness my eyesight is improving to adapt to the darkness in the surrounding area I had two dogs that didn't want to come with me and now you now they are still let it so like like so like with editing stuff still editing at home still uploading uh, still doing that getting on with it really I had like a file called videos to edit and it had like two to three hundred videos in it then I've got another file called videos to edit which has only got like 200 files in it and I've got a third one which is my trip to Leeds uh, and Galactic Golf which has only got like a hundred files in it and then like some vlogging that I did before both those two and bloody hell I've got all this stuff before as well damn 